All right, Zelda fans, welcome to another Tease Monkey Gaming video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to decorate a house that you get to own in Zelda, if you didn't know that already. You get to own this house right here, but not for free. It does come with a price. Um, the way you get this house is you see this guy in the pink pants. His name is Bolson. He's located in Hatino Village. Just to the southwest, you have that shrine there. It's another way to get there. Or you can use the tech lab if you have that opened. The house you're looking for is right there across Burley Pond, across that bridge. That will be the house that you get to own. Um, the deal with the house is Bolson and his crew are trying to tear it down. But when you talk to him at this house, he offers to you to be able to buy it. And he jokes around saying it's going to cost you 50,000 rupees. You keep talking to him. He says, okay, I'll take 3,000 and so many bundles of wood. Come back and talk to me when you have the 3,000 and the wood. So you basically get 3,000 rupees, give him the bundles of wood that he requires. You become the proud owner of the house, but you can then add decorations to by re-talking to him. He'll offer to make you display racks for your weapons, your shields, your bows. It also opens up a quest line called From the Ground Up, which allows you to build a town called Terrytown. Terrytown is located up here in the northeast section of the map in Akala. It's on the little island you can see right here, Terry Town. Doing that quest from the ground up will slowly build your town from having no inhabitants to having a general store, things like that. You also, this is where you'll find Grant right here on top of this house on the balcony. He will sell you a replacement Hylian shield if your Hylian shield breaks because yes, it is breakable. It's very durable, but eventually it will break. You need a replacement, you'll get it from him. And once again, as I was saying, you talk to Bolson, and he will offer to put upgrades in your house. It's three for the weapons. You can have three weapons, three bows, three shields. You need to have all three of those. You need to basically buy everything he has. As you can see here, I got my shields over here, some weapons and bows you can simply just whatever you have equipped you can walk up to that display rack it'll give you the option to display it or you can take it down to then go use it i like to store some of my higher quality items here to prepare for um, boss fights you have a bed which you can get a free rest from so you don't have to go to an inn and pay rupees to get your health back. But as you can see, there's a nightstand by my bed. Some other furniture up here, a little desk and stuff. Um, this little dining set, the kitchen and bookcase. That stuff is not in your house. That is the gift from Bolson once you pay for all the upgrades that are 100 rupees a piece through him. Uh, I think it's around 2,000 when you buy all the upgrades. They put that in your house for you to liven your house up a little bit. Your house also has other benefits. You'll find two iron sledgehammers there that you can always get up, pick up. When, if you take them both and get rid of them, they respawn and get them back. This is an apple tree. Um, I cut it down to get the apples not too long ago. It does respond as well. Go out here by your pond. There are little rocks that you can pick up. Under the rocks you will find gemstones and rupees as well. So that's it. I hope you guys like this video about claiming your house in Hatino Village. <clears throat> which then opens up the chance for you to build Terrytown, and Terrytown brings a lot of benefits to your town, brings vendors, 
and a vendor, arrow vendor that stocks all types of arrows. Grant shows up in your town on the second story of that first house on the right when you come down the path in the Terry Town to replace your Hylian shield. Some of the armor set pieces as well. There's an inn there that you can sleep for free. Uh, armor vendor that sells a couple of, or sells a different set of armor. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. Got a lot of Zelda videos in the making that'll be coming out. Check out some of my other Zelda videos as well. Um, how to farm the three dragons, the electric dragon, the fire dragon, and the purple dragon. I have a video on that. Because um, you do use those items that you get off those dragons in the game to upgrade armor and for quest activations. So if you want to see how to do that, go ahead and check that video out. As for now, this is TZ Gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next video.